Okay, in our second example, we're going to factor this trinomial. 2x squared minus 3x minus 20. That's what we're going to do. Okay. First step, let's find or identify A, B, C. A is coefficient of x squared. We'll make that two. B is the coefficient of x. So we're going to make that three. And negative 20 is c value. Not a coefficient, it's a constant. All right. The next step, we are going to fill in x or the x. That's what we're going to do. We're going to fill in the x. So I'm going to draw an x and what needs to go right here is AC. What needs to go here is B. Let's find AC. AC is A times C. So A is 2. C is a negative 20. If we multiply those, we're going to get a negative 40. That's going to go right there. B, we already know, is negative 3, so we're just going to put that there. All right? So, now, let's go on to step 3. 3. And uh, we said we we're going to, uh, we're going to find two numbers that work. Okay? Find... Uh, two numbers. I gotta always do that. Two numbers that work. All right. What do I mean by work? These two numbers, they multiply. They gotta multiply. To get AC, which is 40, negative 40. But then you have to add them, the same two numbers, to get negative 3. That's what we got to find. So we're going to find the factors of negative 40 and pick, find which two of these factors will add to give us negative three. And since it's a negative 40, one of them needs to be positive, one of them needs to be negative. So let's find the factors of negative 40. Let's list them. Well, I'm gonna use uh, a negative 40 times one. That's, that's, let's do that. And then we got we can also do a negative 20 times 2. We can also do a negative 10 times 4. And we can do a negative 8 times 5. We can do all those. And we could keep on going, but that's a we'll just start there. Now, let's find their sum. What happens if I add 40 and uh, negative 40 and a uh, positive 1? I want to get a negative 39. What if I add a negative 20, a positive 2? That's going to give me a negative 18. What number am I looking for? I need to get a negative 3. That's what I'm looking for. So what if I add negative 10, a positive 4? I get a negative 6. Getting closer. And then Negative eight, other five, at those. That's what I want, right there. All right, so if my two numbers are negative eight and positive five, they are negative eight and positive five. So I'm gonna put the negative eight here, other five there, okay? All right, 
So let's keep going. I'm going to take that same, go back to the X. I'm just going to rewrite it a little clearer. Okay. All right. So we have found the two numbers that work. Uh, now, remember that A is equal to 2. So we have a new step in here called um, divide and swing. All right. That's going to be our fourth step. Okay. And what we have to do is we're going to divide... This 8 and this 5 by A. So since A is equal to 2, I'm going to divide the negative 8 by 2 and the 5 by 2. That's the divide part. Okay. If we divide negative 8 by 2, that's going to give us a negative 4 right here. Okay. If we divide 5 by 2, we're not, we're just going to get five halves because that's just going to turn into a decimal. So we're going to swing here and we're dividing here. So what do we get? I use this number. That's going to give me X minus four for this side. Here, I'm going to get something like this. X plus five halves. All right. I'm going to swing this. What I mean by swing, I'm going to take the two and I'm going to move it over here in front of the X and bring the five down. So that's going to give me a result of X on four. The two becomes a coefficient of X and I bring the five down. And that becomes my answer. So to conclude, uh, if we factor 2x squared minus bx minus 20, that can be written, factored as 2x plus 5 times x minus 4. And that's the end of that example.